This brief video is to give you a better picture of our new SDL90 EC than pictures can give because we're going to give you the, the sights and the sounds and tell you a little bit more about the system. It's a very compact unit. Uh, we'll zoom back on it in a, in a few minutes, but first I want to show you the, uh, the fact that it does have a, a key uh, lockout safety switch, so if you leave the machine unattended, it's certainly a, a safety measure to be able to do this. It's got two uh, indicators of power, one on the power control unit and one on the handpiece, and also an audible warning that the unit is powered up and ready to fire. And when you turn the unit off, it takes a few seconds for that power to, uh, to discharge internally. Now let's step back from a little wider angle and take and take some additional looks at, the, at this machine. First of all, notice it's very light and compact, very uh, easy to package in, for example, a camera case or an instrument case and take it to your patient so you can be mobile in your business and be of uh, much more value in your, uh, in your efforts to beat your competition. And the front panel features two control knobs and a pulse counter. We've already discussed the uh, the uh, light indicator, energy indicator, and the uh, safety switch, and the, the cord itself plugs in here very easily when you uh, set it up. The uh, pulse counter is resettable so you can keep up with how many pulses you've delivered to a particular spot or during a particular treatment session. The um, intensity control, rather than get into complications about how many joules per second per square centimeter we're talking about here, that's in the literature. Just call it low, medium, and high intensity. And then the pulse uh, frequency, let's call that just slow, medium, and fast. This is the number one is about a pulse a second, maybe a little bit faster. Uh, number two is about uh, three pulses a second, and number three is about seven pulses per second. So the maximum level of energy delivery is going to be when you've got the, the intensity on high and the pulse frequency on high. And you know that in one second that setting is going to deliver 220 joules per square centimeter per second of fluency to the target. Now, uh, there's a big difference between this system's design and the other laser systems from this manufacturer in that this is a epidermal contact laser. It is not uh, designed to be held above the skin and fired. It is designed to be pressed against the skin when it is fired. And there's a little bit of a trade-off in that. The, the, the good news is it's much more efficient. It's about 50% more efficient in delivering the laser energy or the photon energy to the target, to the hair follicles. So you're going to get a, a, a more disabling action on the follicles from a unit with a similar power that has the more traditional design where it's suspended above the skin. Uh, the, the downside to that is there is no, there's no optics here, so the, the laser energy is not confined when it leaves the diode. It spreads out immediately. I'm going to cut off the auxiliary light here so it's easier to see the pattern. I'm going to fire it up once again. And you can see on my hand the pattern of energy if I hold it up. And you get pretty far away from it and it's really diffused. And I'm not feeling anything. It just may be a little mild heat at this point in time. It's totally ineffective therapeutically at that distance. And you notice it's not very bright. This is an 808 nanometer uh, wavelength laser. And the, the visible light spectrum is from 390 to 750 nanometers. So actually this goes into the infrared range. And if it weren't so uh, highly energized, you couldn't see it at all. But it's, it is technically in the infrared range, so it's not going to be very bright. But believe me, there's a lot of energy there. The key is applying energy to the target. So in this system, it must be pressed up against the skin when it's fired. And I just fired a full burst for a second. I felt it, but it wasn't horrible. And that was full power, uh, top frequency. And one thing that's very, uh, very noticeable about, about this machine, uh, and this is very tender skin here, is that it's, it's, it's a relatively comfortable machine to use because the energy is, is getting through the surface layer of the skin and before it's really uh, going to work and you're passing through the most sensitive area of the skin and uh, it, it's much more comfortable 
to me, especially than an IPL or than a, than a, a laser that's first hitting the surface of the skin before it goes on through. So I'd first rank this as a very comfortable machine from a patient standpoint, just from this brief test here. But the trade-off in having this efficiency and comfort is that the area that's being treated must be free of hair during the treatment process. Remember, this is not a laser shaver and laser shaving is nothing that's permanent. What's permanent is destroying the capacity of the follicle to produce a hair and that, that involves traumatizing the tissue in the uh, papilla bulb. So uh, the, the area must be shaved or waxed prior to treatment and it's certainly advisable to have this done in, uh, before the treatment session to save your time unless you're charging for it. But, uh, and the reason that is true is because if there is a hair on the skin, between the skin and the diode, that hair is going to be crystallized by the heat. It's going to sting a little bit, it's going to stink a little bit, but the main thing is it's going to mar the surface of this glass, which is very precision glass. And the system does come with a polishing cloth to, uh, to occasionally buff that, but you can avoid that entirely by just by following the instructions. Notice this is the, uh, the emission area, and um, I hate to shoot my camera, but yeah, there it is. Um, Hopefully it didn't blind my camera, because there's a lot of energy. So we're going to press this against the skin again just to demonstrate. That was well over a second. I felt the heat, but it was not uncomfortable. And if this were an area that had follicles that produce hair, I just killed some. But of course, that one doesn't have any. Um, very nice system. I think this is going to be a big seller. Uh, this particular unit is a demo unit, and it's just been used for photographs. So it's going to be available at a discount until it's gone. And... Uh, uh, look forward to uh, any questions that you might have or uh, doing business with you or your salon or if you're a reseller we're certainly open to having people help us put these things on the market. Uh, thanks for your attention. This is Lou with HTETronics.com.